What's going on guys? Nemesis here, back with a new video. Today we're going to be playing some Pekka Bridge Band. We're going to be playing some live games, so we're going to do like four matches or so. So, let's get it. Okay, so we got our first game against uh, Retaliation. Um, He's a pretty good player. Let's see what he's playing here. He's going to be playing Royal Ghost. I got my Ghost. I'm just going to go ahead and kick things off with the Pekka in the back here. See what he wants to do. He's going to go for a Heal Spirit. I don't know exactly what deck this is at the moment. Candy Cart though. Candy Cart is actually really like uh, that's actually not good for me. Candy Cart's really bad against like it's good for him and bad for me essentially. Like it's hard because like if they just stack if they just stack uh, Candy Carts in the back and everything, you can't really do anything for it. Okay, okay, okay. Really good damage by us. Um. Really good damage by us. Um, I think we're just gonna opt for a battle ram here, because I don't I don't want to cycle my ghost. But yeah, cannon cards really tough for Pekka because they could just keep cycling it in the back and everything like that, and you can't like fully kill it. Like you don't have lightning and everything. Fireball zap doesn't take it out, so it's like really difficult. Uh, I think right here, we're just gonna go for a fireball on top. I think that we should get one shot maybe. Okay, one shot. So we're in damage leader, pretty solid right now. We definitely need to make sure that his magic archer doesn't get any more shots on our tower anymore. I don't know if he has a big spell or not though. But we're gonna cycle the magic archer in the back and find out. He has log though, not barbarian barrel. I feel like these decks tech like typically run barbarian barrel instead. Uh, we're gonna go for it. Bandit here. I think we're gonna kick things off with a peck in the back as well. It should be a pretty solid play. Oh, you know what? He actually might have Elite Barbarians as well. That's something he might have. Uh, this matchup, though, is more so about just completely stacking up at the bridge and singling pressuring. Because I guess I think he has Battle Ram, if I'm not mistaken. No, not Battle Ram, Elite Barbarians. My commentary is pretty bad when I'm doing live games. That's why I kind of more so do um, just normal uh, replays. But I'll try, I'm trying my best here. I think we're just going to take the Fireball Valley on top of that. Because I just want to deep piss everything down. Before he's able to make a counter push with it. And I think that should be game number one. If I'm not mistaken. Okay, so he's just going to play this. I'm just going to play this. like. Oh, uh, is that game? Hopefully, potentially. Yes, that is game number one. Perfect game. Um, let's get on to the second one. Okay, on to our second game. We got a game against Abraham. But back to what I was saying earlier, like in my first game, is that, like it's kind of hard for me to commentate doing live gameplay and stuff like that. Um, just because I'm more focused on the game itself and everything. So I kind of feel like I, I repeat a lot. But uh, if you still want me to do more live, just let me know. But um, if you don't, I totally understand. <laughs> um, oh, that was a really good fireball. I'm gonna have to like overcommit on that. But I wouldn't even necessarily be to overcommit because he did. Um, actually, I think I gotta protect this. I gotta like protect this like, as much as I can right now. I'm surprised it's not even locking on the tower. But if he goes like maybe bats, because I think he's like. Uh, okay. Um, that is so bad for me. I don't even know, like... Oh my gosh. Um, actually, how do I, like... I know how to play the matchup, but it, it is kind of weird, in a sense. Like, if they do plays like that, like, it's really good for me because I have to overcommit a lot. I can't play P.E.K.K.A. because if I play a P.E.K.K.A. on top of that, he has the potential to go for, like, a Zap or something like that. And the zap will just retarget my peck onto the guards and stuff, so it gets pretty difficult. I have to I literally have to zap that itself too, because the bandit interaction, they haven't even fixed the bug yet or whatever it is. So yeah, it's pretty bad for me, but um we'll see if we can work around it. Um uh, do I battle ran this, I feel like? I feel like I battle ran this. And then I magic archer.
This is not good. This is like a really bad, I think this is a pretty bad matchup, especially with guards. Guards like hard, hard counters me, so it's like... Yeah. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Like, what is that? Uh, I think I'm gonna have to pressure up really hard here. He's got that. He doesn't have guards in rotation anymore. Yeah. I can't even get an extra hit on that. That's so about like. I think I'm gonna have to go for a Pekka here, to be honest. Okay, this is actually really good. This is really, really, really good for us. This is really good for us, I think. Go, go, cloak, go, cloak. Uh, hopefully, uh, let's see here. Oh, he messed up, he messed up, he messed up. Okay, okay. We're gonna spam him, like, really crazily here. <gasps> we won! Let's go! GG's, GG's. He messed up so crazy with that fireball. Oh my gosh, I'm so thankful. Let's go on to the third game. Okay, we got our final game against Dudu, Dudu. <laughs> um... Let's see here. We got Electro Wizard, Fireball Bandit, Magic Archer. I'm just gonna go for a, ooh, a Fire Spirit Hog Push. So this is looking maybe like a typical. Oh, okay. This this is Hog 2.6, and this is like a literally like another hard counter for me. By the way, I didn't even do that great in that last season. I just I was like facing hard counters upon hard counters. Um, I would have made like a um, like a video, but like road to AK but like man I was just facing 2.6s like a lot of guard decks it was so bad for me so I'll try I'll try my best to do better this season but um let's we'll see what happens I'm gonna wait for his hog rider you gotta be really really passive in this matchup like really passive if you're not passive he's just gonna spam me with the hog rider and still defend simultaneously I'm gonna go for this I'm gonna go for this so he played six elixir I played He's probably gonna defend like Ice Spirit or Skeletons or something. Right there, there it is. Let's see what he wants to do here. I gotta keep like my Ghost in hand as much as I can, unless he plays like this. Well, that's really good. Hmm. I feel like I should dual lane this. I think I'm gonna dual lane because I feel like he's kind of low in lower in Elixir right now. I'm gonna Magic Archer in the middle, just in case he wants to go Skeletons like that. And he's gonna go for that, since he's probably gonna play Ice Golem potentially. I'm gonna go for a, a Cheeky Bandit at the bridge, potentially, if... like that. Maybe I could have Zapped as well, I'm not too sure, but I'm not gonna go for a, um... Pekka, because I'm kind of like... I'm, I'm in the damage lead and I don't want to like like lose it because if I go for Pekka he's probably gonna go hog opposite lane and still defend me so I'm just gonna go ahead and take that fireball value and I'm just gonna go for an electro wizard on top with a bandit right here okay cool all right I'm gonna wait for my um elixir to replenish oh that was really bad on his end I think I'm gonna go for a uh royal ghost on top of that right there but now, since it's double elixir, I could be a little bit more aggressive, but not too much. I want to make sure, like, I keep uh, playing my magic archers out of fireball range and stuff like that. Um, you know what? Since he did that, I think I'm actually gonna go for a peck in the back here. But I'm not too. Sh I'm not too sure if I want to. Okay, we're we're literally just like. Getting perfect interactions right now. Okay, so here, here's this push here. Okay. I'm gonna go for a magic archer right there. Just, to, yep, because I knew he's gonna do that. We're gonna go for a battle ram here. And then go for electro wizard there. We're gonna go for a zap on top of the skeletons. Oh my gosh, we are playing so well. 
It's either we're playing so well or he's playing pretty bad. It's probably like a mix of a mix of both, to be honest with you. So that is the third game, and let's get on to the final one. Okay, so we got a final game here against Azim from Supremos. Oh, we got Magic Archer, Bandits, Fireball. Oh, he's gonna go for a golem first play. You know the typical golem first play. You know I don't advise people like doing that. It's just like I mean you can if you want, but it's just such a like such a bad play. Especially like if you don't know what the opponent's running. Uh, he's gonna go for a Night Witch in the back there. I think I'm just gonna go for Magic Archer all the way down low. I don't know exactly if he's got oh, he's got that. Uh, do I do I zap that? I think I do. I think I do zap that. Cause he can't be clone, right? Because he has fireball, but I'm not too sure. I didn't want to cycle a magic archer. I would I would have rather cycled the Electro Wizard, but I didn't have it in hand, so. Uh he's gonna go for that. I think I'm just gonna go for a bandit in the back here. Since I think I might go opposite lane pressure now. Let's go opposite lane pressure. I have a free bandit on the map. Does he have uh Elite Barbarians potentially? Oh no, he probably doesn't. We're going to go for a Magic Archer like this, and then we're immediately going to go for a Royal Ghost right there, just to pop the Queen ability a bit early. Like that, just like that. I think we're going to have to go Electro Wizard on this. Okay. Uh, so far, so good. I don't know if we have like the same amount of Elixir or something like that, so I think we do. Okay, well, he has a bigger elixir advantage. I'm gonna go Pekka here instead of right here because my Pekka will go up a little bit further. It will travel to the uh, Golem a little bit quicker. What we need to make sure we do right now is protect this Pekka as much as we can with our Battle Ramp potentially. Because I know he's gonna go for a mini Pekka or something like that. So we're just gonna do that right now like that. Go for a Magic Archer here. And we're gonna go for a Fireball High. And then we're going to go for a zap as well. Okay, so he's going to take our tower 100% here. With that being said... Hmm. Okay, he's got that. I'm just going to go ahead and play opposite lane now. Uh, if he takes fireball, he takes fireball. Um, I'm going to go for a P.E.K.K.A. here. He's going to have to definitely fireball me potentially. This, I think this is definitely going to go to the two tower game, 100%. Okay, we're definitely going to fireball that. Man, this is a pretty hard, actually. This is pretty hard. Um, hopefully, we don't choke this game at all. He doesn't have a um, fireball cycle, I'm not sure. We're gonna go for a peck on the back here. And it's kind of annoying right now because he does have a three card cycle. So uh, we're gonna definitely watch out for that. Uh, we're just gonna go for a bandit here. Uh, let's see, let's see what else. Okay, so he's gonna pop the ability, which is fine. Okay. Oh, oh, okay, 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 okay. We got a nice little connection there. Got a nice little connection. I'm still going to play passively, just in case, just in case. He's going to golem opposite lane here. Oh my gosh, Magic Archer is doing some good damage there. I'm going to go take the fireball there. I'm going to go for a ghost high to DPS down the queen as much as I can. I think that goes, yes, that goes left lane, so I'm just going to play for left lane. Let's see here. I'm gonna do this. If he goes for a, um, I'm gonna take the fireball value too. I'm definitely gonna take the fireball value right there, right then and there. If he's gonna go for a golem at the bridge or in the pocket or whatever, let's see what he does. There it is. There's the golem at the pocket. So I'm just gonna play the Pekka. I'm gonna play this battle ram to distract a little bit, so it doesn't like latch onto my Pekka. My Pekka's gonna do a really good job, actually. I'm gonna make sure we defend this. This is actually getting a little scary. Hold on. 
Oh my gosh. That got so close at the end. That got like legitimately so close. Super good dubs there. Um, I'm really happy with how these games turned out. Got all four wins, so um, really happy. Let me know if you want me to do more live replays. Um, like I said, it's kind of hard for me because I'm more focused on the game, but if you want me to, I'll do more. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll do more videos in the future.